In this video, let's talk about how to make iPad ring whenever your iPhone rings. Or said differently, how to transfer calls to your iPad even though it's not a cellular model. The first category is the FaceTime, which means that it has to use internet connection to make internet phone calls or video calls. For this, you obviously don't need any carrier plan, you just need a stable internet connection. And the way it works, the way you make your iPad ring whenever you get FaceTime call on your iPhone is simply using the very same Apple ID on the iPad. So if you go to the settings, uh, at the top you can see your name with the information and iCloud, Apple ID and all of the things. You have to make sure that these things are exactly the same on your iPhone and on the iPad. So pretty much just use the same Apple ID. But in the FaceTime section in the settings on the iPad, there are a couple of things that also need to be enabled. Like obviously FaceTime has to be green and turned on. That means that you can actually make FaceTime calls because if that's off, you're pretty much done. But under it, there is an interesting option called calls from iPhone. But don't forget, we are still within the FaceTime settings, so this only applies to FaceTime. And this pretty much means that you can use your iPhone cellular plan, that means the carrier and the internet provided by them, from your iPhone to the iPad and make phone calls, FaceTime calls, in this case, using that internet connection that is on the iPhone. But if you would like to make and receive regular cellular calls on the iPad, there is another thing that you need to set up. Of course, feel free to jump around the video because it should have chapters. So in order to enable this, you have to leave your iPad like that and go to your iPhone settings. So just scroll down until you find phone section. And if you open it up, there is the option to calls on other devices. Just like you remember, I made a video about messages and how you can transfer and sync text messages with iPhones and iPads, you can do the same thing with phone calls as well. So calls on other devices, and this obviously needs to be enabled. By the way guys, if you like the video so far, a thumbs up to the channel would make me really happy, I would say. So anyways, back in the settings, under it you can read what it actually means. So you can use your iPhone cellular account to make and receive calls on a device signed into your iCloud account when they are nearby and on Wi-Fi. And this time we're talking about the regular cellular phone calls. So this obviously needs to be enabled and for this to work you can also choose and like enable it specifically and individually for other devices which are also paired to your Apple ID. So you can choose that it can show up and phone calls can be received on the iPad but not on the MacBook. The conditions are also of course that the iPhone has to be nearby and the iPad has to be like somewhere around it. So that means that you cannot really go away with it. And also the iPad has to be connected to Wi-Fi. So this isn't going to work all the time, but a lot of times it will. So definitely a nice option to have. Another option here in the settings is one called call forwarding. And this pretty much means, and it's just like, it doesn't use any kind of Wi-Fi, nothing has to be nearby. You just pretty much set a specific phone number which will be redirected to every time somebody calls you. So I don't think that this is the option that you are looking for, but it's also a possibility. This is probably a little bit more advanced and it uses multiple phone numbers. So you have to have multiple SIM cards and devices probably. And it's something that not a lot of people can or will want to use. I would say that this option is more like for professional or like business stuff, probably in some companies like smaller companies may want to use that, but definitely an option that is available and possible to enable in the settings of the iPhone. So this would be pretty much it. I do not think that there is anything else worth saying in this video. That's why I'm ending it right here. If you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like these in the future, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. This pretty much makes you informed and when whenever there's anything interesting for you, it's just gonna show up on your YouTube page. So it's a win-win. So again, thanks a lot for watching and we can see each other in the future uploads. Have a great rest of the day.